Hi guys, welcome to this short session on delusions. Very, very high yield topic from psychiatry and we'll try and discuss everything important in under five minutes. So firstly, a delusion is a strongly held false belief that persists even after its falsity has been proven beyond doubt. So it's a false belief that persists even after its falsity has been proven. It is seen in schizophrenia, alcoholic related psychosis, mood disorders, particularly depression, and also in some organic brain diseases. But most importantly, if you remember, delusions are mostly seen with schizophrenia or strongly associated with, with schizophrenia. It's more than enough. Next, what are the types of delusions? So firstly, you have something called delusion of grandeur, which is an exaggerated conception of one's own importance, also called megalomania. So the individual feels he's of higher status or he feels he's more important than he actually is in real life. So it's a delusion of being grand. So called delusion of grandeur. Sometimes they may feel they're richer. Sometimes they may feel they're more powerful. Sometimes they may feel they're more popular. Sometimes they may even believe they're kings. Sometimes even that they're God, which is called God complex. So that was all delusion of grandeur. Next, you have delusion of control, which is nothing but a false belief in which the individual feels they are under the control of some other external force. So it is a belief that one's own will, thoughts, and feelings are controlled by some external force. Next, you have the delusion of infidelity. So infidelity is nothing but a spouse cheating. So delusion of infidelity is a false belief that one's own spouse is cheating on them. It's also called Othello syndrome, as in the Shakespearean Othello. So Othello syndrome, also sometimes called morbid jealousy. Next, you have the delusion of love or also called erotomania, okay? And it is a belief that another person is in love with them, okay? So there is a variant or a subset of delusion of love called the D. Clarenbault syndrome. So the D. Clarenbault syndrome is a delusion where a young woman falsely believes that a man of higher status is in love with her. So usually a young woman feels that a man who is older or of higher societal status than her is in love with her. So that's called D. Clarenbault syndrome, a type of delusion of love. Next, you have the nihilistic delusion or the delusion of nihilism or the delusion of non-existence, okay? So it is a false belief that oneself or others or the world itself is non-existent. So it's a delusion of non-existent. So there's something called Cotard syndrome, which is again a subset of nihilistic delusion or a type of nihilistic delusion. So Cotard syndrome is a nihilistic delusion with concerns of bodily function. Usually the person feels that their intestines are uh, not functioning or intestines are putrefying or their liver is absent or their heart is absent or their brain is liquefying or whatnot. So there is some organ function in question by the individual. So nihilistic delusion with concerns of bodily function is called Cotard syndrome. Next, you have the delusion of infestation, which is also called the Ekbom syndrome. It is a false belief that one's body is infested by many small organisms or bodies infested by small organisms, usually visible organisms. Next, you have the delusion of persecution, which is the most common delusion and is a belief that the individual is being persecuted or everyone is behind or trying to catch a certain person or the affected person. So delusion of persecution is a belief of being persecuted and it is the most common delusion, very beautifully portrayed in the movie, a beautiful mind based on an individual with schizophrenia, John Nash. Okay, next you have delusion of reference and it is a belief that others are talking, thinking or reacting about a certain individual. So it's a delusion where you, you feel that everything happening around you is in reference to you. So it's a delusion of being referred all the time. So if this individual sees two totally unrelated people laughing in another corner of the room, they would assume that they're laughing about him or her. So that is a delusion of reference. Lastly, we'll talk about the delusion of misidentification. This is the most important delusion from the exam point of view. So firstly, you have something called the Capgras syndrome and you have a Fregoli syndrome. Both are delusions of misidentification. So Capgras syndrome is a belief that a familiar person, someone you know well, has been replaced by an imposter or an exact double or a body double. So someone you know well has been replaced by an imposter. And Fregoli syndrome is a belief that different people are the same person constantly changing their appearance. So if they see 10 people, they believe that all 10 people are just one person who's constantly changing his appearance, voice, behavior, whatnot. But in Fregoli syndrome, they believe everyone is the same person. And in Capgras syndrome, they 
are unable they identify a familiar person as an imposter so so if you, if this individual sees his mother he would not say it's his mother but he would say it's an imposter of his mother who looks talks and behaves exactly like his mother but is an imposter of his mother so a familiar person is recognized as an imposter or a body double okay so that was about fregoli capras very high yield topic so that was about delusions in 5 minutes see you in the next short discussion thank you